What's up, everybody? Welcome back to Team Fish Knuckles YouTube channel. Today is Sunday, so happy Christmas Eve, guys. Uh, tomorrow's Christmas, if you don't know that for some reason. So, yeah. Uh, so today we're gonna play a Christmas theme kind of deck. I know tomorrow's Christmas, but uh, today is not Monday, main Monday, deck Monday. We're just playing a deck for Sunday, just to have fun with it, just to kind of celebrate Christmas. And today we're playing a Xerneas Break type deck. Now, going into, uh, or going, I guess, at Memphis Regionals, I heard a bunch of St. Louis players actually playing a Xerneas Break deck. So it is, like, a competitive deck. I don't know their list, but this is my version of the deck. Uh, so basically, you have the Xerneas with Geomancy to put energies on your field. Uh, you have the Xerneas Break with that life stream to do 20 damage times amount of energy attached to all your Pokemon. Uh, basically, Xerneas is like a reindeer. Uh, we have Cabalion, which I guess you could say also Cabalion's like a reindeer, right? Uh, he has that Revenge Blast 30 plus 30 more damage for each prize card your opponent has taken, which is great uh, for a late game for sure. Uh, we have one top, uh, two top delays to help set up, and we're playing a Deli Bird just because, really, just because Christmas, he can give you all the presents, uh, but that's pretty much it. And one Orangaroo, uh just to instruct to draw three cards, and that's gonna be all your Pokemon. Uh, so basically, you just try to get a bunch of energies on field with Xerneas and just do a bunch of damage. So of course, we'll play Max Elixir to get energies from your deck to your bench basic Pokemon. One Super Rod, kind of want a second one. Um, I think I want a second one. Four Ultra Ball, three Fairy Guard to give that free treat with Pokemon with three energies attached to it. Uh, two Brigetti Spaghetti, four Guzma, four in, and four Sycamore, just max amount of consistency. So three uh, choice band, so you can do extra 30 damage to GX or EX. Uh, two EXP shared, keep your energies on the field. Three um, count of energy, so if you're down to price cards, this basically counts as two of any energy, which is going to help us activate the life stream because now it's two energies and it does help the revenge boss attack. And you can use surprise attack if you need to. Uh, and 12 fair energy. So we're going to play the deck. We're just going to play three straight games with it. And see what happens. I, I like the format of just like hopping in and just playing three straight games with it. Um, I know some people get mad when they're like, oh, you just pick your own games and stuff like that, which it is good to do that to find like, you know, a decks and stuff. Um, <clears throat> but yeah, I like doing it here just to see it live, just see what happens. I can't really choose the game, so we're just going to play three straight games with it. And we're playing against a Glissapod Zork deck, um, which I think is a fine matchup because Glissapod can't one shot his Zarnius Break. Um, the Zark can't one shot a Xerneas break, but then they can have like Ace Cerullus, so it kind of trouble that way. But once you're set up, you start taking knockouts, they can't one shot you, and you're good to go. All right, I hate this this dang thing right here, guys. Guys, for Christmas, let me know how to fix that. That's all I'm asking for Christmas, so let me know how to fix this. Uh, <laughs> all right, so, um, <clears throat> okay, so we'll start Xerneas. Press done. We're we'll probably discard the Cabalion right now from the start. We have two of them and the Super Rod. So we see Wimpod and two Zora. So we'll Ultra Ball discard the Cabalion and the Choice Spin uh, to grab a Lele. <clears throat> oh, we have the other Cabalion there, so that's good. So we'll Lele for Bridget. Come on down, Mr. Lele. Yep, we'll Lele for Bridget. And with the Bridget, we'll grab a Orangaroo um, and two Xerneas. This is pretty much all we need, turn one. So. One, two, three. All right. We'll put a fear energy on a bench Xerneas, and we'll just pass. Um, just in case he plays in the funky, like, Team Flare Ground or something, discard the energy of the active. I want to be rather be safe than sorry. Um, but his turn, I mean, he can, like, retreat. Maybe flying flip. There's a DC going to the Zora. There's an N. We both get some new cards. Um, with Zark, he can't really one-shot us. It does, like, 100 damage because we have resistance as well. And, oh, baby. Um, so now we're kind of in a weird situation. Um, just because we don't have a fear to G. So we get it in. All right, that's a good top deck there. So a Max Elixir. Fear to G on a bench Xerneas. We will Choice Ban. And, no, not Choice Ban. EXP share a Ringaroo. And we'll play it in. We're looking definitely for a fear to G. And we get one, alright. So we get a Fader G, we'll attach it to the active, and we'll go for Geomancy. So let's put a Fader G on the active. We go for Geomancy, alright. So one here and one on the Xerneas. So I have two, four, five energies on the field. Turn number two. So five energies turn two. Not bad. Um, 100 damage. If we attach one, we do 120. Enough, if we get Max Elixir, 140. Choice Band 170, so still not enough for a knockout, but once we're set up, we're going to be good to go. Like I said, he's not going to be able to one-shot us, which is great. There's a Wimpod and a Zora coming down. 
Okay, there's an Ultra Ball. I'm going to discard two cards from their hand. Discard the Coco and a Guzma. The Coco could be really useful, I think, in this matchup. Because if you double snipe, you bring everybody down enough for a knockout. Okay, so we see a Zark will come down. Um, but like I said, the Zark can't take a knockout here. So, Zark coming down. Okay. Um, and there's in. Okay. Can we take a knockout all this turn? How many max levels have we played? Just to win. So, one, two, three, four. Okay, it's one, two, three, four, five. Six, seven, eight. I mean, if we had like triple max looks, are we gonna take a knockout? All right, Grass Energy Wind Pod. We'll see a trade. Gonna discard a card from his hand. Uh, discarding his choice band, draw two new cards. Okay. Uh, one thing I could be concerned about is Parallel City, because Parallel City can like make it where um, we're kind of in trouble. <laughs> so, in our turn, we get a Fair Energy. That's good. Um, we'll put a Fair Energy on a Lele. Fairy Garden. Retreat to Xerneas. And just Geomancy, getting a Fear to G here and a Fear to G here. Okay, so there's one. <clears throat> there's two. Alright, uh, so two, four, six, seven, eight, nine. Uh, so we need a choice band next turn. We can start taking knockouts. Alrighty. So we'll evolve into Xerneas. So we'll put a, um, a counter energy on the Lele, I guess. Okay, so there's a Zark coming down with the Mind Jack 3, 6, 9, 12, 130, minus 10. Uh, he can't take a knockout on the regular Xerneas? No, he can't. Grass Energy Wind Pod. Okay, we're fine. We're fine. We're fine. So stand in. Okay, stand in. And Guzma, I imagine, is what we're going to see here. Uh, so trade, discarding a card. But what he Guzmas, is he going to bring up the Xerneas with the Wind Energy? Or is he going to bring up the Oward Guru with the Choice Band on the, the uh, EXP share on it? That is my question. You gotta think he has a Guzma here. There's no way he stands in without it. Maybe he has a Flowstone on his hand, and that's what he's trying to go for. Uh, but if he takes a knockout, we have Counter Energy, which is really nice. We'll activate this turn. So trade, discarding a Ultra Ball, drawing two new cards. Okay. Let's see here. What else does he have? There's a Guzma. Bringing up the Xerneas. All right, so this is fine. Uh, we're definitely gonna keep all the energies in the field. So Riot is beating for the knockout, doing 80 damage. Uh, going down a uh, some parts cards. We'll put an energy on the uh, Ringaru. It goes down to five, uh, but we definitely have the knockout this turn. So instead of Xerneas, own Arsenic. Can we tell the Cabalion? No, we don't. So we'll put down Delibird. We'll put a counter energy on it. Uh, Xerneas breaks the active. And I think we Sycamore. Try to find a Cabalion maybe for later on. Maybe another Xerneas break. Okay, we find another Xerneas break. So we're going to Ultra Ball. <clears throat> Discard the Sycamore and the Brigetti. Divine is already break. We'll put that guy down. And I think we just take a knock out this turn. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Actually, we don't even have a knock out. Hold on. 2, 4, 6, 8, 10. We need a max looks or hidden energy. Oh boy. And wow, I, I misplayed there. Okay, so we'll super rod shuffle back in a. Xerneas and a Fairy and a Cabalion. Wow, I thought we had the knockout, but we don't. We're missing it by one. We need a choice band here. All right, so we're struck for one. There's a counter energy. So, yeah, we're going to whiff on the life stream. Life stream is only going to do 200. Wow, I did the math wrong, unfortunately. All right, so in our opponent's turn. Yeah, that's that's unfortunate. Uh, missed the max looks here. Okay. Uh, maybe we have two four, so We have eight energy on the field, one in our hand. So, like, it's not... Too crazy we missed it, uh, but there we see a Mewtwo being discarded. I think I, when I did the math, I didn't calculate the... No, I think I did everything right. So, Counter Energy, discarding the... Uh, or, Enhanced Energy, discarding the Counter Energy, okay. Trade. Uh, discarding a Guzma, drawing two new cards. Discards a Guzma. Guzma, I mean, Guzma could take a knock on a Ranguru, maybe? Uh, so many Guzmas is down. Now he's down three Guzmas? I'll take it. He's definitely looking for Ace Roll this turn. So Lele for Ace Roll. So he's going to Ace Roll this turn. Uh, send the probably the other Zark. And swing. Uh, but if we find a choice ban, we'll be, we'll be in the same situation. We can take a knockout on the Zark if we find a choice ban. So <clears throat> let's see. Can we find a... Can we find that or not? So Ace Roll. Go to pick up the Zark. Send a new Zark. Okay. Most likely he'll send a Zark. Because he... Okay. No, go to send the Mind Jack one. Okay. So DC is the active. 3, 6, 9, 12, 130, minus 20, okay. Uh, 110, so 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Um, I'm going to put a counter energy on the Lele. 
put down Xerneas. Retreat into the Xerneas, or to the Lele. Instruct. Uh, the only downside of this is he can't knock out our Lele this turn. Ooh, baby. We'll end him down to five. We'll get six. Okay. Okay, there's a Max Elixir. We'll play that card. Try to get some energies on the Xerneas on the bench. I don't have any energy we have left. All right, so there's energy on this guy. That's good. And we will just energy drive for the knockout. Okay, so taking a knockout here. Going down to five price cards. If he finds a DCE, um, he have a DCE, uh, choice band, Galissapod. He can take a knockout on the Lele. If not, we're good to go. Okay. So here comes Zork. On to our opponent's turn. Let's see what happens. Now he is down three, um, like I said, three Guzmas, but he probably has like, you know, puzzles in his deck like they all do. Uh, so trade here. He has to find a DCE, so he already discarded one. Uh, he has a dick for a couple cards here. <clears throat> Let's see. I mean, I think we're still fine here. I think this is a fine matchup. I think it's great. So trade, discard another card, draw two new cards. Okay. Um, Okay, so he discards a Mallow. Okay, 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 okay. I like it. I like it a lot. Let's see. Did he find a DCE? If not, then we're, he's going to be in trouble. So, Field Blower, get rid of the uh, Fairy Garden and the EXP share, most likely. It's what we're going to see it being gone. Okay, so those two cards being gone. That's fine. I'm fine with that play. Uh, There's an Ultra Ball. Going to start two cards from his hand. Let's see. What does he go after? Maybe a Lele to Wonder Tag? He's only played the one Lele, so he has spots for more for sure. I uh, know he has he a puzzle and a Lele. His hand must be stacked. Oh my goodness. There's a Gliss Pot, okay. There's a Gliss Pot coming down, okay. Let's see here. So two, four, six, seven, eight. Okay, there's a Guzma bringing up our Xerneas, since it's Glisspod. Um, so he's going to take a knockout this turn. Can we take a knockout back on him? I think we can. I have to do the math in my head, make sure I don't mess it up this time like I did last turn. <laughs> uh, so DC's the active, okay. And an armor press for 100. Huh, alright. So instead so of the Xerneas... So, 2, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 230, minus 20. Okay, so we need to find a counter energy this turn. So, choice band the Xerneas, Ultra Ball, um, discard the Xerneas and the Guzma. Okay. Let's see, we gotta grab a Zernie's break. We have one counter energy left, one max elixir, and no fairy energies left. Okay. Alright, so we grab a Zernius. Um, um ba -ba 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 -ba. grab a Zernius, okay. We'll put down Zernius. I think we Lele for Sycamore. <coughs> And hope we hit counter energy. I think that's the way to go here. Yeah, so yes. We will grab a Sycamore. We need to find this last counter energy. We'll be able to take a knockout. So grab the Sycamore, okay? We'll play the Sycamore. Discard your hand. Draw seven new cards. Doo -doo -doo. All right, we got it. Cool. So we'll put a counter energy on the Xerneas. Sure. And we will live stream for the knockout. Alright, 210 exactly. Going down to four price or three price cards. Okay, so there's one, there's two. Uh, now the problem is both of these counter energies are now ones. There's a Zara coming up. Um, can the Zara take a knockout? No. Can Glusspot GX take a knockout? Yes. Um, that's what I'm more scared of for sure. So we see a trade. This card in choice man draw two new cards. Uh, we're also down all of our counter energies. We have no more counter energies left, so we can't go for the Gabalion play either. Okay. Wow, I look really weird right now. Why? What is going on? I'm disappearing! Oh my goodness gracious. Alright, so he's trading. He's doing stuff. Whatever. Blase, blase. So field blower. Get rid of choice pen. I don't care. I have another choice pen in my hand. Um, he has to find another DC. And pass onto our turn. Alright, so 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 
10. Choice ban. Knockout. Yep. Yeah. All right. So 230. Go down to one. Oh, baby. There's an Ultra Ball and a Guzma. All right. So as long as we Guzma the Lele, we're good to go next turn. All righty. So here comes Zark. Uh, Zark can't take a knockout. He has to go Glyphod, um DC. There's a field board. Get rid of our choice band. Uh, Sycamore. And that is going to be the game, I think. One, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay. There's a Enhanced Hammer. Uh, I think we start the game, though. Because we can just, like, Guzma, bring a Blade Blade, Knockout. So, Puzzle. Okay. Uh, let's see double puzzles for another count, another E hammer. Then we have two, four, six, seven, eight. Then we'll need another. If we, I think, if we, if he gets another E hammer here, then I think we lose the game in actuality. No, no, no. If he doesn't evolve the the wind pot into glitz pot, we win for sure. Uh, but you gotta think he has in hand, right? So E hammer discarded the counter energy. Okay. This is okay. So we win the game. He bitched Azora. That's game. I don't know why he'd do that. Unless he doesn't have Gliss Pod, then okay, then we win the game. We're 100 percent win the game. Resistance for 60. Get out in there. All right. So we'll Guzma break up Azora, send up our uh, Zarnius break, and we'll take game number one. There we go. Live stream for the knockout. 160. Fair energy. Cool. I think we prized like three fair energies that game, but. We'll play more games. So, Zora Glisspot, I think, is a great matchup. Like I said earlier, um, they can't one-shot you. You have resistance. The only way they can one-shot you is, like, using that Glisspot GX attack. But you only attack, you only GX once per game. So, once that's gone, you're good to go. So, <clears throat> we're looking for an opponent. Let's go to game number two, guys. Remember, this is best two out of three. No, it's not best two out of three. We're just playing three games with the deck. So, we're playing against 2H something something. Playing a Zarg Decidueye. Uh, I think this is going to be a little bit harder because Zora can, like, stack damage with Decidueye. So heads, okay. We won the coin flip. That's what we need right there. We need a, we need a, we need that. Why? What's going on with the camera, guys? Okay, this hand is terrible. Holy cow. Please, monkey, save us. Harambe, what are you doing here, bud? Oh, my goodness. Please, Mulligan. All right, please just give me Bridget Brigetti. Just give me Brigetti turn one. That's what I'm asking for. All right, so one Mulligan, okay. Uh, do we top deck spaghetti? Spaghetti. That's the question here. Oh yeah, we'll draw for Mulligan. Okay. Well, well, fear is the active pass right now. I think that's what we need. Okay, actually, while he's playing, I'm gonna try to fix this this ding dang screen right here so you can see like the top right here is like so bright but over here it's dark like i said there's a tv right here which is very annoying all right so let's let's click this color okay no better but see then i start disappearing okay i know he's doing stuff i know he's doing stuff right now Alright, that looks a little better, I think. Oh my goodness, guys. We should probably just concede this game. Like, it's pretty bad already. Like, oh my goodness. How do we get back from this? Um, Well, EXP share. Well, Sycamore. My face is disappearing now. Yeah, we're just going to concede this game. Um, Yeah, that's done so. Alright, we'll, we'll put that, that, that game doesn't count. That doesn't count. That does not count as the game, guys. Okay, we'll fix my camera during that game. We'll count that. All right, so JJ Chu, Chow, Chu, Chow. What is going on, guys? Ugh. I want to do green screen so bad, but like it's just not. I'm just not, not having a good time with it. All right. So okay, it's a little better. <clears throat> we start Cabalion. Hey, every time I yawn, how many people yawn? That's always my question. Like that's the big mystery. We'll put down Harambe. We'll press done. We'll lay lay for Brigetti, and we'll start the party. Soto Wudo. Um, I think we still Brigetti for the two. Even though it's just two, I think it's better than the none. Okay, so grab Brigetti. <clears throat> Come on down, Brigetti Spaghetti. We'll grab two Xerneases. Deli Bird, you're not going to make an appearance this game, bud. Maybe you will later. We'll Max Elixir. Fear to Jonah Xerneas. And we'll press done. Now next turn we find a Fear Energy, Fairy Guard, Retreat. We can Geomancy, be good to go. Uh, start putting the pressure on opponent. 
What if you watched and learned my geomancy? <laughs> That'd be really funny. Uh, yes, I will copy your geomancy. Okay, well, go for that. Uh, see if fighting dragon is deactive. And in. Alrighty. So we get a new hand of sex, which is great. Uh, because it, like, right now we're just going to set more and only play like seven cards. Okay, now we have okay, now we have a really good hand. Wow. So two buzz walls coming down. Uh, rock rough coming down as well. Okay. And pass on to Archer. That, um, that rock rough is definitely scary, unfortunately. So a max elixir. Okay, that's great. I just clicked like I thought I had it already. Fair to Jesus this guy. Fairy garden. Uh, we will treat into a Xerneas. And we'll go for Geomancy. Man, I hope he watch and learns. I hope he really, like, copies my Geomancy. That would be... Goodness, that would be so funny. Alright, so in our opponent's turn. Now, the thing about this is we have to do 190, which is kind of scary. It's a little bit high number. Um, right now, we're doing uh, 80. Okay. Um, next turn, we can do, uh, you know, 8, 9, 10. We can do 120, 140 if we attach. And then the following turn... We will take a knockout. So there's a Lele for Sycamore, okay? He's going to discard his hand, draw on seven new cards. I definitely probably wants to get rid of the Fairy Garden. One card I'm always worried about, I don't know if I said this already, is Parallel City. Because uh, Parallel City will put us on a three, we'll have to discard some Pokemon with energies on it. So we see a Rimmer coming down. Did he find a, an energy to attack with this turn? If not, we're looking even better for sure. All right, so here goes the Buzzwall. Oh, baby. Pa oh, yes! All right. So we get a Fairy Energy, okay? Well, Fairy Energy, a uh, Lele. And we'll Geomancy, uh, Fear to G onto a Xerneas, and Fear to G onto Xerneas. Alright, so now next turn we can start swinging. So one there, one there. Uh, we have two, four, five, six, seven, eight. Uh, we attach energy, choice band, and that'll be a knockout. Alright, so we're looking good already, guys. We're looking fantastic, I think. So there's a, uh, a Brooklyn Hill coming down, okay. There's a Octillery coming line, okay. There's a choice man going to the bench, Boswell. It's not going to help him really. Okay. Bissell for one. And a Sycamore. All right. This card's another Guzma. Okay. Now, yeah, it's a second Guzma, but he still has the Rock Rough, the Lycan Rock. There's a strong energy going to the active. <coughs> choice man going to the active. That doesn't really matter in the grand scheme of things. Um, so Jet Punch, where does he do the 30? Or, yeah, Xerneas makes sense. I agree with that. So on our turn, we find a Fader G. So Fader G the active, Choice Man the active, play it in. If we whip a Xerneas break, then it wasn't meant to be. And we find a Xerneas break. Alrighty. So we will Xerneas break. <clears throat> Max Elixir? Okay. Um, Do we Fairy Guard? I don't think so. I think I'm just going to live stream for the knockout. All right, so turn three. I think three, four. I don't know what turn this is. So taking a knockout, taking two price cards. There is a counter energy and a, a fair energy. Can he take a knockout? Um, Sudowoodo, if your opponent's attack, use that as this tech during his last turn. I guess he can try to copy my... Okay, there we go. This is victory screen. Yeah, we won the game. Yeah. So we have a good Buzzwell matchup. What is going on with my face, guys? That is so creepy. Oh, my goodness. What is happening? Oh, my goodness. I just can't figure this out. Okay, we're gonna game number three, and while we do this, okay, let's 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 do this, guys. Hold on. Okay, I I think that's a little better for sure. What if I do this? What if I do this? Oh, that's too much. What's he playing, guys? Can you tell me real quick? I'm not paying attention. Not paying attention to what he's doing right now. What was happening? All right, so Xerneas. Um, I don't know. I guess we're on second because we have the option to go first or second. Uh, we'll Lele, Bridget, Fairy to G, Geomancy. We'll be good to go. We have a good hand already. All right, so there's a, another buzz wall. Okay, they're, everybody's been a swall today. Look, guys, I know I'm not that, like, not that strong, but you don't have to show off your buzz walls to me, okay? You don't have to be a, 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 a jerk. Right, so strong energy, fighting energy, whatever, all that stuff. I don't care about any of this stuff. Like, it doesn't matter to me. Yeah, put a flush on there. Play that Sycamore. And in! No, oh, why would you in? That's bad. No, don't do that. I had, like, good hands. And why did you do this to me? Okay, well. Um. I mean, you can put down a Xerneas, Cabalion, and Ultra Ball for Xerneas, Sycamore. Hey, Fear Energy Top Deck, too. So we'll put that down, put this down. Put this down, put this down, discard one and two, grab another Xerneas. 
Yeah, this is a good am. Maybe could have got a Ranguru, but we'll just draw to a second war. I believe in second war. He's gonna find us the Ranguru. Um, okay, we'll take that. Uh, discard a Guzma and a second war for Oranguru. Okay. <clears throat> we'll put down the Oranguru. We will Max Luxor. A fear to on this guy. And we will Geomancy. All right, look at there, guys. Look at that turn one. That is a strong turn one. Uh, four digits on play, so we're doing 80 damage turn turn two right now. 20, 40, 60, 80. Um, I mean, he can, like, jet punch for 30 and punch somebody else, whatever. Um, he is going to take the first knockout realistically, but then we have a like, counter energy, which is really good, obviously. So, <clears throat> rough will come down. Strong energy active. Guzma Oringaru. Uh, choice man there. I don't care about your choice bands. Play your choice bands. Whatever, man. I don't care. They're irrelevant in this matchup because I'm not dropping Lele. Okay. <laughs> Goodbye, Ringaroo. Yeah, I think this card in the Ringaroo is the better play for sure. I'm gonna keep as many injuries on the field as I can. So that's probably a smarter play. So Lele, what do you what do you even need? What else are you digging for, man? Calm down. Calm down, sir. Like you already played enough. Alright, so there's a second more. Okay. Okie dokie. Do 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 Okay, so second more here. Discarding a why, why, I don't understand why people want to discard their, like, there was no point to grab that Lele. Like, you could have just, like, held resources and have Lele for late game. Uh, but you decided not to, which is good for me. I don't care. So, 60 and 30 to somebody in the bench. Um, he can't two-shot anybody, so that's good. Or, like, take two knockouts in one turn. So, we'll fair to G a Cabalion. We'll play it in. We'll get six. He gets six. Okay. We can find love just like that. Yeah, I like it. All right, so we'll, we'll EXP show that Xerneas with nothing on it. And then we'll Geomancy one and two. All right, so there's one there. <laughs> one there. All right, so under our opponent's turn, let's see. So I have two, four, six, seven, eight. Choice band knockout. We got this. We're taking a knockout next turn. I feel it. So fighting is active. Okay. Lycanroc, bring up Xerneas. <laughs> uh, that's probably what's going to happen, most likely. Hey, I was close. Guzma, that guy, retreat, knockout. Uh, we lose an EXP share, all that good stuff. All right, so knuckle impact for the knockout. Okay, let's do 190. Do we still take the knockout this turn? I don't know. All right, so instead of Xerneas, whatever. On our turn, we will Xerneas break. Uh, Xerneas. Uh, Counter Energy, the Cabalion? Fairy Garden? In? So, two, four, five, six, seven, eight. Oh, we missed a choice ban, or we had a knockout this turn. So Xerneas break. Oh, this is not good. This is actually really bad now. Um, that, this, that here. <coughs> um, live stream. Yeah, we missed the choice ban. We would have had a knockout. Great. Where's Harambe when he need him? All right, but maybe there's a knockout here with like the Buzzwall. Then we knock him out. So that's good. There's an artillery coming out. I mean, we're kind of like set up now. So that's really nice. Um, I guess, realistically, if you like Guzman's the Cabalion, we're in trouble because we lose, like, a bunch of energies. Um, I'm a ghost right now. Don't bother me. I just disappear. And then I reappear. What is going on, guys? <laughs> All right, so fighting you like Rock Rough? Okay. Um, whatever. Brickle Hill, sure. Floodstone, sure. Is he hitting or second warring? All right, there's a Lycan Rock coming down. Okay, I don't, I don't care, whatever. Bring up my Rockabellion. <coughs> I'm a suck it, guys. And a Sycamore. All righty. So, Sycamore. Um, at least we keep a Fairy Energy, so that's good at least. So, Max Elixir. Okay, also, we can bridge it for, like, um, 
I guess a Gabalion and our Delibird. <laughs> Delibird can take a knock on this turn if we're feeling that if we're feeling good like that. If we want to take some gambles, I would like to take a knockout Delibird. Or yeah, Delibird that'd be pretty cool. Hmm. Do we in try to hit Delibird? Let him take a knockout, trying to give the present to our opponent. Cause he does forty, but I think he to flip a coin. I think he to flip a coin. Oh baby, if that's the case, I don't think. <laughs> I think I'd rather just like bridge it for counter or for Kabali on Deli Bird and like just put a counter G there. So we see a treat to Zygarde actually. Interesting. Lance pulls for fifty. Okay. Well, I guess we'll bridge it here. Grab a Kabali on and a Deli Bird. Okay, put a counter G on the Kabalion. Uh, reach. Oh, crap. Oh, no. Oh, no. Misplaced. Okay, well, quick guard. There we go. That's pretty good, I guess. Uh, so now we force attack on Lycanroc or Guzman this turn. Whoops, I misplayed there, because I forgot we have to retreat, because he bumped our Brooklyn Hill. So there's a strong energy like rock. Ooh, baby. Retreat, Dangerous Rogue GX. <laughs> I'm fine if he Dangerous Rogue GXs, because that means he wastes his GX attack, really. I think he does if he does that way. Do we have to flip with this? Oh my goodness, we do have to flip a surprise attack. Goodness, I thought it was a, I thought it was a flip, and it is, it is a flip. I'm just not crazy like I thought it was. That's okay. That's okay. That's bad. So Ultra Ball, okay. Discarding Ultra Ball and River Raid, okay, okay, okay. All right. Huh. Let's see here. What does he grab with the Ultra Ball? Um, I don't know, cause let's see. Just thing is, deck down. He can't grab anything. Okay. I yawned again. I apologize, guys. <laughs> So, Abyssal Hand, drawn two. Okay. Does he go for Dangerous Rogue GX this turn? I wonder. We'll find out today on Dragon Ball Super. Or maybe not. Maybe wait like 10 minutes and nothing will happen. Because that's what it seems like right now. That Quick Guard puts stuff in, like, he's like, dang it, that dang, that dang Quick Guard is in my way now. I'm like, yep, Quick Guard is doing some work, buddy. Lucas, come on now, man. Just just make a move. This is why people tie. This is why I had three ties in Memphis Regionals, because my opponents just sit there forever and think about how they're not going to do anything. Like, they literally, their, his only attack was a Dangerous Rogue GX, and he did it. Thank you, opponent, for taking five minutes to do that. You're a pal, a champ. All right. <laughs> so, it goes at four. We'll send up Xerneas. On our turn, what do we get? We get what do we get? We get we get a max luxor. So max luxor here, sure, why not? Uh, okay, that's great. That's good. That's good. What well, in? Okay. Okay, choice man. So two, four, six, seven. I don't think we take a knockout here, unfortunately. Um, choice man, the active. Uh, how much HP do we have left? Wow, he's gonna take a knockout here. We're definitely in trouble. Like, in worse trouble than we thought we were gonna be. Um. Yeah, we'll live stream, but not take a knockout. Because we missed an energy again. Lovely. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay, yeah, we're definitely in trouble. I guess, like, the good thing is, like, he's, like, has, like, two Pokemon with a bunch of damage on him. But. I don't know what that's really going to do. And why not keep disappearing, guys? My goodness. I'm like the ghost of Christmas past or something. Like, what is happening here? All right, but he also needs another energy to commit to Lycanroc to take a knockout this turn. So there's a couple good things going here. Because if he, if he goes that way, like he, like, you know, puts energy on the active, takes the knockout, we can knock him out. And then can he knock us out to the back the following turn? No. So then we take another knockout because um, he'll still be on prize cards. And then we can take, like, the last two on, like, a Gabalion play. So I think we're still okay here, um, which is very weird to say. <laughs> okay, so let's see. Does he find energy or not? Like, right now he looks fine. Um, maybe he's just, like, thinking what to do for, like, a billion minutes as well. Like, what is what is going on here, guys? Oh, he timed out. I'm 100% sure that's what happened here. All right, so Super Rod put three Fear Energies in our deck. 
Because that's all I want is Fairy Energies. I know we have a Rangaroo in there. That's pretty useful. But we'll put a, a Choice Band there. Fairy Garden. In? Yeah. Okay, there's some Fairy Energies. Put a fair we had plenty of Fairy Energies, Josh. What were you doing? You literally could have just, like, put other cards in your deck that are better. But with live stream for the knockout, I think we're going to, like, DC. Alright, it's 100, 190? What, what happened? I thought we did more. Um, I don't know what I'm thinking, but I think my opponent's not here no more. Um, I think he's disconnected, and that's the case. Well, that's going to be the game, probably, because I'm tired of playing this deck. It's not that good of a deck. Like, it seems interesting. Like, don't get me wrong. It seems like a lot of fun, but it's really late, and I'm tired, and I want to go night-night, I think. Um, yeah, he's not sending a Pokemon. He's definitely disconnected, unfortunately. But, I mean, we did beat Buzzwall earlier, so I think it is a winnable matchup for sure. Um, uh, so yeah, this is a bit scary. My opponent unfortunately disconnected. But, yeah, this is going to be a game, guys. I'm pretty tired of playing this deck, and my green screen is, like, bothering me. Like, I don't know what's happening to my face right now. Like, that's annoying. Uh, but guys, I hope you have a great Christmas Eve. I have to go to sleep, so Santa Claus has come see me, and hopefully I get some good presents. Uh, but guys, oh, thanks for watching. If you want to see what I get for Christmas, follow me on Snapchat. I'm Marking22. But have a great day, night, and whatever. Alrighty, hit the subscribe button. Alrighty. Bye-bye.